Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe, please turn notifications on and give it a like. It'll really help me build the channel. For those who don't know me, my name's Mark, or better known as Ignition Trader. So I'm just going to go over some of the coins that I'm trading at the moment and why. So if you go over to CoinGecko here and you go coingecko.com slash en slash NFT, you get a list of all the NFT projects. And then what I've done is I've just cross-referenced those with what's available on margin, okay, because we're in a bit of a well, we're starting what I think is going to be a really big NFT bubble and I want to try and get myself into some good positions on some of these coins uh, on leverage if possible otherwise I just hold them a spot but for for the sake of this video we're just going to be talking about leverage trading so what's on my watch list at the moment is ENJ, SAND, AXS and CHZ so as far as I can tell these are the only real NFT projects that are available on margin but if you know of others then please put them in the comments and I'll have a look at them Okay, so what am I doing here? So this is a trade that I've got running on ENJ right now. So it's another trade I would typically take if there wasn't this narrative about NFTs happening, if we weren't sort of heading into a bubble. But because I wanted to get into a position on here, I've taken sort of an unusual trade. And if you go on the daily, it is getting a little bit parabolic. Okay, it's pulled back a little bit. And so for me, it's time to look for a bit of an entry. And on the four hour, it does look very healthy here. I've got an order block here. Okay, so an order block is typically put in uh, when you see a doji candle and the thing that that makes it support and re or resistance is the volume that's traded there. So I would always open up the volume profile and have a look for a volume spike in that area, right? And you can see that and you can see that we've got a bit of a volume spike right here. Okay, so that's going to be support and resistance. You can see we've come down tested a couple of times and it's held. So I'm quite happy to mark that in as support and resistance and put my stop loss underneath it, making sure that I'm not too tight, okay, leave room for a few wicks. You could even go a little bit lower than that if you wanted. Okay, I've just set an arbitrary target at the moment. I don't know how big the pump that I think is coming is, is going to be, so I don't want to limit myself with targets. What I'll do is I'll wait till it takes off and then I'll start shifting my stops and managing the trade. And if that happens, I'll, I'll post an update. But jumping down to sand now. She took this trade on the daily. Let me jump up to the daily here. Sort of a similar thing. Okay. This candle here is left behind a bit of support and resistance level. Okay, you can see we've struggled to get above it. Once we've get it, got above it, we've come down here, sort of almost tested it there, and then started to take off. And we've pulled back, so I've entered a trade here. It's just in a little bit of loss at the moment, but that's fine. Uh, we don't expect our trades to always just go straight up. Okay, and same thing as with ENJ. On a trade like this, I don't want to limit myself too much, so I've just sort of set an arbitrary target. I'll just manage that as I go. Jumping down to AXS, um, that's quite parabolic, and I don't want to open too many trades. I'm quite happy with two leverage trades open at the moment, considering that Bitcoin is uh, having a little bit of a correction. Uh, just sort of part of my risk management is not to open too many trades at once in these kinds of conditions. So. Um, I am monitoring AXS though, that's the Axie Infinity token, if you didn't know. Uh, it seems to be maybe forming a bit of a bull flag, but I just want to see that can continue to consolidate there before I might consider an entry. But before I consider entry on there, I really want these two trades to progress a little bit further. I want to be able to shift my stop losses up, make those trades risk-free. And once they're risk-free, then I can look at other positions. Similar thing with CHZ, okay, it's been pretty parabolic. It's sort of consolidating now. I could maybe find an entry if I wanted to on the lower time frames, but for the same reason that I haven't entered AXS, I don't want to open too many trades. I want to wait until the other ones are risk-free first. So that's it from me, guys. Thanks. I'll see you in the next video.